Hi, hello everyone. My name is Bernardo Sim and I'm a writer for Pride. Um, today I will be speaking with Kevin Bacon and Carrie Preston about they slash them. Um, Kevin, you've had an extremely prolific career. Uh, what attracted you the most to this character and the script? Um, I, I like the idea that you're going to take something uh, as horrible as a, the concept of gay conversion and and uh, put it in a very accessible genre, meaning horror, which a lot of people really love, and, and the stakes are very high. It's 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 life and death, and it sometimes has the possibility of tapping into something in a pop culture way that uh, you know a, a, a dark little drama might not be. So I thought that that was a really interesting idea, and there was this great character for me, and and so I I was uh, it was a it was an easy yes. Yeah, that's awesome. Carrie, um, I'm not going to lie, your character probably scared the most, uh, <laughs> scared me the most in the entire movie. How do, you, how do you approach playing such a terrifying character like that? Well, I mean, it is uh, the, the crux of the film, really, is the, the horrors of, of this gay conversion. And so to to see the, the practices that, that my character does and Kevin's character does, um, the movie doesn't work if you don't have that, you know. So um, I'm, I'm it's always my mission to be a, a part of, of stories that, you know, bring the LGBTQ story front and center until it's, you know, just as common as any other story about the human condition. And so, you know, this spoke to me in that way. It, it fit my mission in that way. And then um, just the writing is just crackerjack. You know, uh, John Logan obviously <laughs> knows what he's doing. And um, and I was excited to be a part of his directorial debut as well. Um, but as far as playing the character, you know, you just try to get into the skin and figure out why somebody would do something so horrible. And then, you know, talk to the director, work with the other actors, and then, you know, you end up what what, with what's there, but the, it was on the page to begin with. Kevin, as a straight actor who was drawn to playing this character, is part of you hopeful that certain parents will watch this movie and think twice before sending their LGBTQ children to these horrifying conversion camps that still exist out in the world? Wouldn't that be just the greatest win if 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 it happened to one person? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I yes, 100%, that would be, absolutely fantastic and then hand in hand with that um would also be young people who um have a different gender identity who can see themselves in this film maybe they are in a small town and you know rural rural america in a conservative world with conservative parents maybe they're closeted bullied whatever it is to be able to see people like themselves um, up on the screen and empowered is also something that we hope would be a would be a beautiful um, uh, result. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Carrie, a lot of people fell in love with you as Arlene on True Blood. That character made a lot of mistakes, but people always felt like she was coming from a good place. Did you approach this character in a similar way and try to understand why she does what she does in order to play her? Or was it just hard to understand her at all? No, I think, you know, um uh, that's our that's our you know goal as actors and that's our job as actors is to try to you know figure out why these people do what they do you know and 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 in the case of Arlene you know she she really ended up having a great arc you know she started off being such a closed-minded person and and her mind kept getting opened up it, it, with Cora um, she's pretty much ha has her mind made up you know um, she she's a, a licensed trained you know therapist who you know believes these things and she hasn't had that moment where she snapped out of it and thought well this is a horrible thing that i'm doing i think she really thinks that she's saving these kids and that is truly horrifying